A subway safety dispute between the MTA and the NYPD as more people start to return to public transportation. They're arguing just how much of a problem crime actually is in the city's subway system. CBS News' John Diaz has more, including how commuters are reacting. It's getting really bad out there. This Queens man says it's not the pandemic that scares him while riding the subway. It's the violence. I do not take it at night. I get in a, I get in a cab or I'll, I'll find an, another alternative. While NYPD's stats show crime is down 53% in the system year to date, MGA officials say since ridership has declined during the pandemic, crimes per rider have gone up and felony assaults in March spiked as well. The police is there. They're doing a great job, but it's something else more that they need to do for the homeless. Now, the two organizations seem to be playing the blame game. NYPD Transit Chief Kathleen O'Reilly is saying transit officials are fear mongering and need to stop. But MTA officials are adamant that's not the case. No one is saying that crime is rampant and out of control in the subway. We're just trying to get it into a better place. The next three to six months are critical in terms of getting ridership back. What we're doing is we're listening to our customers. Today, MTA Chairman and CEO Patrick Foy pointing to a recent survey conducted by the Transit Authority. It showed 87% of riders are still worried. We've surveyed 33,000 of our customers, and our customers are saying they're concerned about crime and harassment. The same thing is true with respect to our employees. This comes as other areas in the city are also trying to bounce back. Business hubs starting in Times Square are about to see more police, since safe economic recovery is a top priority, and these areas bring a lot of dollars into the city. Times Square accounts for 15% of the city's economy, $58 billion. New York City is not going to recover unless Midtown and Times Square recover. And the city will soon start its Safe Summer NYC plan. The idea is to convince gang members to trade in violent behaviors for things like jobs and sports. Critics of the plan say that the city should be focusing more on arrests. From Jackson Heights, Queens, John Diaz, CBS 2 News.